Hey guys, it's Jordan here with a review from the top. Uh, I wanted to do a quick update to my DRC D50 drone review. Um, I'll link to the original video here. It's 45 minutes long, really detailed. I went over all the things that I liked and didn't like about it. One of the main things I didn't like was the lack of onboard video recording on the D50. It's a great little drone, but currently the only way to record video is through the mobile device that you're using and the, and the incoming Wi-Fi stream. The quality is choppy. Um, there's a little bit of lag to it. Um, it's jumpy and you definitely don't get 1080p when you're recording over the Wi-Fi stream. However, um, I discovered the other day that there is actually a slight mod you can do to get onboard recording to a SD card on your D50 while you're flying. So in addition to the, the Wi-Fi stream recording, you can also get 1080p video recorded to the D50 that you can download later after your flight. Drastic improvement, um, full 1080p video, it's checked and verified, um, and it only requires a slight modification. It's not something that's advertised on any of the websites and all the other D50 drone reviews that I've watched. Um, nobody seems to cover this. So I'm gonna show you real quick how to do a slight mod to your D50 and greatly improve your video quality. So coming up, here's how to do it. All right, everybody. So again, this is a quick review on how to modify your DRC D50 to record onboard SD card video. Now, you might have noticed in my thorough review video, I talk about this FPV module. Um, one thing I'll say real quick is the antenna that is attached to this module is extremely flimsy, and even in the process of setting up for this video, I already broke this off. Um, barely touched it. Uh, I actually pinched it in the battery one time when I was first setting it up. As I mentioned in the video, that's real easy to do when you're pushing the battery in. This antenna is right in the way, and it's real easy to get it stuck in there and snap it in. Um, I've only done that once, and apparently that was enough to weaken it. And just now when I was going to set this up, the actual transmitter antenna for this little tiny FPV antenna um, broke off. So I'm going to see if I can solder that, if I can repair it. Uh, just be warned that it's extremely flimsy and this is a delicate operation, so um, be really careful with that antenna. Maybe it might not be a bad idea to put a drop of hot glue around that just to uh, strengthen it and modify or uh, make it a little bit beefier before you start this process. So that's your warning, just be advised about that. Now, as I was messing with the D50, I noticed if you look underneath the grating on this, uh, if you look through the plastic, you can see a uh, a metal box. There's a little strip of metal underneath there. You can kind of see it shining in there. So that looks to me a lot like a uh, exterior of an SD card port, but nowhere on any of the uh, DRC um, uh, online website, the, the posting, nothing mentions this coming off. I don't think it's meant to come off. It kind of snaps in. Nothing says in the manual that it's supposed to come off. However, after one crash, I noticed that it did pop off. So, as I was examining it, I noticed, you know, there is no, like, there's no place to plug in an SD card. And it's not advertised that you can. So I started thinking, I was like, man, that looks a lot like an SD card slot. So, I took this thing apart, uh, just four screws holding it together, one, two, three, four. Took those tiny four screws out, and sure enough, on this board, there is an SD card slot. I taped the piece that I cut out back on there, but I'm going to show you. I cut this away with an X-Acto knife, this little piece, and if sure enough, if you look underneath there, you can see a slot for an SD card. I don't know why they covered it up. I don't know why it was not advertised, but at least for this model, it's fully functional, and I'll show you. So I just, I lined up took the cover off with these four screws. You don't have to take the cover off. I would recommend it if you feel confident in doing that. I would recommend taking these four screws off, pulling off the cover, and just, this is real flimsy plastic. It's, it's real, it's not thick. With an X-Acto knife, I was able to mark where the edges of that SD card slot were. Oh, let's see if I can get it focused, sorry. I was able to mark where that SD card was and just cut little strips of that plastic off and just cut it off flush. And now, you'll notice if I take an SD card, I am able to pop it right in there. And it snaps in just like normal. Now just to prove to you that that works, you can slide your module back in. 
and it just barely hangs over the back edge there but it does hold an SD card and now let me grab the remote and when you first fire this thing up turn the drone on turn the controller on Okay, you can see it's connected now. Okay, so it's connected. Now on the controller, there's actually a button here. If I press my photo and video button, I'm going to show you this now. Here's the drone, just to prove that this is working. I'll show the drone. I'll show my face. How about that? We'll shine my face up. You guys get to see me. But I'm going to press this photo button. I'm going to tap it once real quick and you'll see a camera indicator come on. I'm going to try that again. See the little camera button flash? Now if I hold it down for two seconds it'll beep beep. And you see that little camera button indicator stays on. So now it's recording on the drone and it's recording on the remote. The little remote, the camera button stays on to indicate that it is continuously continuously recording. Now I don't have a phone connected to this, I don't have anything attached to it, this is just the drone and the controller talking. But the controller actually gives you an indication that it's recording and it's right now recording under the SD card. And I will prove that with the video. So, um, in order to stop it you just press and hold. That turns it off. And that's not going to interfere at all with your streaming. You can actually still record the stream from your phone. However, it's actually recording on this SD card right now. So I always like to stop it with the controller just to make sure it saves the video. Um, I've had it before where you turn the drone off without ending the record button and it doesn't record the video to the SD card. So make sure you stop the recording with the remote before you turn off the drone or pull out the SD card. So I'm going to go ahead and put this on the computer and show you the video. But once it's done, pull your SD card out, pop it in the computer, and I'll show that to you. Okay, I've pulled the SD card from the D50. Uh, I'm inserting it in my computer right now. This is the file box that pops up. Uh, disregard the Novatech folder. I've used this SD card in a previous camera, so that's what that one is. But you'll see the D50 did create two new folders, one titled picture and one titled video. If you open those folders, you'll see here's the two pictures that I just took. Remember, each time I hit that button on the remote control, it took a picture. Here's the first one that I was not ready for. Here's the second one that I was ready for. A little too close to the camera. But if you go to the video folder, you can see here's the video of me talking. Pretty decent video quality. You can see in the background, it's nice and clear. Um, definitely a whole lot clearer than it is over the Wi-Fi stream. So this is recorded on the SD card, full 1080, just to prove it, I'll right click, properties, details, 1080 by 1920. So definitely, definitely an improvement to the onboard uh, video recording. Hope this helps you guys, easy mod to drastically improve your video quality for your D50. That's all there is to it. So I hope this helps you guys get some better video with your D50. Um, that was one of my biggest complaints, and now that that's gone, the D50 is a fantastic little drone that I really have no complaints about. So hope this helps. Have some fun. See you guys next time. Thanks for watching.